All right, I have a fun new project. This one's only going to be about a day or two project. Uh, this is a Taylor 110 GB acoustic that has super, super high action and is in bad need of a truss rod adjustment and a pretty good cleaning. So we'll look at the action here first and just compare with my pinky. Pinky practically almost fits underneath those strings. It is way too tall. So we're going to do the truss rod adjustment and then see where it sits and then maybe do some filing of the bridge to bring it down and get it a lot closer to the fretboard and a lot in a, in better playing condition. Um, we're also going to polish the frets and rehydrate the fretboard because it is looking pretty dry. We'll do some cleaning of the headstock Everything here looks pretty good. And then um, I'm gonna do my best to clean up the body some. It just has, you know, your standard grit and grunge to it. And on the back and sides, everything looks pretty good. But on the back of the neck, it is fair. There's quite a bit of like hand grunge and stuff in here that I'm going to do my best to clean up. And I'm going to make this a little bit smoother for just using like a uh, 8,000 grit cloth to uh, just make this, I don't know, slide better. Um, and then I'll polish it back up and, and make it match and look like factory again. This will be an easy one. I'm just waiting for her order of new strings to arrive to my house. And then we'll get to it. It sounds pretty good. Nice full sound. It's just a bear to play because it's so, the action on it's so high. You can play your standard um, cowboy chords without much difficulty because the action is fairly decent up here. But as soon as you get to like the fifth fret, seventh fret, it just, it's almost unbearable. Um, I've been playing guitar for a while and my fingers are fairly hard and I can barely make good sound come out of this. And for a Taylor guitar, that's just a shame. So we'll get this all fixed up and get it back to the owner and uh, make a good player out of it. Some quick inspection with the straight edge tells the story of the neck. A little bit. It's got some waviness to it. At first glance, it looks like it has some relief to it, but it's more wavy than anything, especially as we get to here at the 12th fret, and then it dips back down. So with some adjustment, we'll make that nice and even and then work on that bridge. I think the bridge is where most of our issue is. It just seems like it's really, really tall. So I'm just gonna pop that bridge out, take it across some sandpaper really lightly a couple times and be very, very mindful about how much we're taking off. Just do a couple streaks at a time and put the strings back on, measure it um, and get it to where it needs to be.
Here next to me I have a Taylor 110 GB that belongs to a friend of mine. She asked me if I could take a look at it because the action was extremely high, and for a Taylor, I must say, it was absurd. I have never seen an acoustic guitar with such high action before. There was almost a half inch down here at the very last fret, this fret actually, uh, for the uh, little E string, not the thick E string. The thick E string was almost three quarters of an inch. It was ridiculous. So what I did when I received it was I immediately took it home, checked it with my neck straight edge, and saw that the neck had quite a bit of back flow to it. So I did a truss rod adjustment, put it back in its case under tension, let it set for about a day, and checked it again. I noticed that it needed just a little bit more tension added to it, so I tightened it another quarter turn, put it back under tension, put it back in its case, let it set for a day, checked it again. It needed just a tiny little bit of adjustment, but I didn't want to do the final adjustments until I checked the rest of the guitar. So I took it apart. Um, actually, I just loosened the strings, pulled the bridge pins, and pulled the strings away and checked in here. There are three Allen screws that hold the neck onto the body, which I had never worked on a tailor before. I was extremely surprised to see that it has a bolt-on neck and uh, pretty tickled too because it made fixing this thing so, so, so easy. So what I discovered, the two Allen keys that are up here on uh, to hold this top part of the neck were fine. These were nice and tight, didn't have to do any adjustments. The one that runs through the body right about here uh, was extremely loose. I put my socket on it and I could just barely move it by hand. So all the action was coming from this being loose. I tight put a ratchet on it, well I tightened it by hand and then put a ratchet on it and just gave it two uh, half turns and then on the last turn it started to get tension. I just gave it a nice easy little torque and it is absolutely perfect. There is no movement here anymore. Um, I put the strings back on it, put it under tension, and checked the bridge height. It has a plastic bridge on it. It looks like somebody's tried working on it before um, because it did have a little bit of a uh, ramped side on the low E side, or the, the skinny E side, so I had to flatten that out. So I took some 220 grit sandpaper, sanded the bridge down, took about one and a half, two millimeters off of it, put it back on, string height is now perfect. Um, additionally, I rehydrated the fretboard, I used some Dunlop conditioning oil on it, and then let it sit for a little bit, wiped that off, added some mineral oil, let it sit for a bit, wiped that off, and then just did a final polish on the frets. I cleaned the gunk and stuff out of the back of the neck. This was absolutely fairly, I don't wanna say disgusting, but just from previous owner plus her usage with standard hand oils and stuff, the neck just did not feel great at all. So I cleaned it up real good and then I scuffed it, I taped it off and scuffed this center section with a white scotch bread, a squat, white scotch bright pad. <laughs> and this now feels nice and smooth. And I'm out here and it's fairly humid and my hand is sliding nice and easy and I don't have anything on my hands or any dressing on the back of the neck. Um, then I cleaned up the head stock and all the tuners and everything, made sure everything was tight and functioning properly, installed the new strings, did one final adjustment on the um, truss rod and now whoop, it sounds absolutely beautiful. I am not the best player in the world. I've only been truly playing guitar for about a year. Um, actually, this will be, what month are we in? This will be the 10th month. I started taking lessons in January. However, I've had a guitar since I was 12 and I could really only play standard cowboy chords. So, um, I don't remember where I was going with that. But anyway, I digress. This guitar, you could not make any nice notes above the fifth fret at all without really pressing hard. And now I'm just barely giving it any tension and it absolutely sings. So I have a feeling she's going to be very, very happy with this, with the new strings on it and all the adjustments that I've done. 
It's still a little higher than I'd like. I don't want to take any more down though because this bridge is really low on the low E side or the skinny E side and I fear that if I go any lower on it, it's actually going to hit the saddle. It almost seems like the saddle was too high on this, but again, having not really messed with tailors other than played them in guitar stores, I am not 100% sure. So I didn't want to do any extra work that I'm not comfortable with. I just won't do that. So um, for a quick playability, playability test, I'll just noodle around a little bit. So you can hear how it sounds. Uh, this thing absolutely sounds wonderful. I think we're still in tune. Yep, so we'll just do a little bit of noodling so you can hear how it sounds and hopefully she will be happy with it when she receives it. are still stretching. So there it is, my friend Kaylee's Taylor 110 GB, a lot better than it was a week ago. And I hope she is going to be very happy with it. I'm sure she will because the action on this thing, even though you can't see it, is so much better than it was. It's a beautiful guitar. It plays absolutely wonderfully now. It sounds so much better. It just rings and sings. Kaylee.